Sir, I am not the presiding officer of this hearing. I know. Yes, sir. But the thing is, you're asking questions, Madam Chair. The, the sir, 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 speaker does not have any right to ask questions. At this point, the chair rules that we shall proceed, so the Honorable Franz Castro may now proceed with her interpellation. You have the floor, ma'am. So, uh, Madam Chair, siguro first observation, no, yung on the budget for the 2024, uh, yung Vice President ang nagsabi, Mr. Madam Chair, na slow and uh, low utilization. So, nakita naman natin doon sa presentation. So, yung utilization ay napaka, napaka baba. Pero, siyempre, comment ko lang, no, mas mabilis siya sa confidential funds. 100% in 11 days. Madam Chair. So, uh, Madam Chair, so according to the utilization of the confidential and intelligence funds submitted by the COA uh, to the to us, no. So we can um, we have here surveillance and monitoring. Sabi ko lang, Madam Chair, no, yung purchase of information out of 125 million. Confidential funds in 2022, purchase of information 14 million, payment of reward 10 million, rental and other incidental expenses relative to the maintenance of safe houses 16 million, purchase of supplies 35 million, provision of medical and food aid 40 million, payment of incentives or traveling relative to uh, confidential info confidential operations 10 million so a total of 125 million conducted surveillance in 132 areas in 11 days so 100 percent utilization madam chair i have also here a report about the notice of this allowance according to the notice of this allowance the COA is allowed 73 million 287,000 out of 125 million confidential funds used by the OVP in 2022. So this is 58.63% of the 125 million. So can you can can you confirm the Vice Madam, President? Madam Vice President. Madam Chair, since you allowed her a snide comment, you will allow me a snide comment as well. So my question diba? is, Madam, uh, can you yes. confirm? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Diba? Okay. Yes, Madam Chair. So may, the, may I, before you proceed, may I remind both our guests and our resources? You should not remind her to when she said the line. The diba? I called your attention, Madam Chair. You did not recognize me. So my own sabihin ko na, if you allowed her that, you allowed me a snide comment as well. I did not, I don't recall hearing a snide comment, Madam Vice President. Ang uh, snide comment, that's a okay. matter of judgment. So please proceed Secretariat, with your, uh, please Madam proceed, Chair, Madam, I would like the Secretariat to repeat the first three lines of the comments. Well, uh, point of order, Madam Chair. Um, point of order, Madam Chair. Kasi parang, so let's please proceed with the yeah. answer. Point of order, Madam, Madam Chair. Chair. Kasi uh, parang siya yung nagpipreside eh. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I'm out. Kasi yung ukusan mo yung secretariat natin sa Committee on Appropriation. Yes, alamat so, nyo, diba? So, yes, okay. Thank uh, you, Madam, Madam Vice Chair. President, please proceed with the response. There's a question. Please proceed with the response. Madam Chair, I do not understand bakit a person convicted of child abuse is still sitting in a seat Point of order, Madam Chair, 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 Madam you speak. Okay, so at this point, um, Honorable Manuel. 
Yes, Madam Chair. Uh, again, it's another point of order. Kasi uh, kapag may mga deliberation tayo, we should stick to the topic. Uh, hindi pwede, Madam Chair, na dinadivert natin yung usapan para uh, hindi natin sagutin yung tanong ng mga mambabatas natin. This is actually the best opportunity, formal proceedings, nakikita po ng publiko para malaman anong sagot ng Vice Presidente. So, hindi po natin nagpapayagan ang ganong mga uh, argumento na hindi naman tumutumbok dun sa topic natin. So, okay. Madam, Madam, Madam Chair, Chair President, I will make this easy so for please, you. Please make Sige, your responses direct to the point. Sige, ma'am. I will make this easy for you. What rules are we using for this budget hearing? We have our rules. Yes, ma'am. Adopted by the Committee on Appropriations. Right, okay. Uh, we searched for that uh, rule. So, we only found the um, the general rules. So, ma'am, we have a copy of uh, the rules for uh, the budget hearings. Well, as far as I'm concerned, mas importante ang rules para sa amin. Kayo po, ang kailangan nyo lang marinig is yung acknowledgement for you to begin to speak. Yun lang po ang pinaka-importante para sa guests. Sa totoo lang po. Yes, ma'am. So, ang pinaka-importante, yes, you may proceed. At saka po yung adjournment. Yun lang po. Yung, yung termination po. Yun ang pinaka-importante lang po. For, for the rules, yun ang ay importante para sa members. But we may pr provide the copy to you. Yes, ma'am. So please so proceed please. and answer the may question. May we request a copy? Yes, oh. yes absolutely. But yes. please, there is a question. And do you want us to repeat the question? And we will not penalize you on the time. I don't you can, uh, you can repeat the facts from the notice of this allowance. I don't need the Honorable Franz. Yes, Honorable Franz Castro, you may repeat your question on the notice of this allowance, I believe. Yeah, tama, Mr. Madam Chair. So, according to COA, the notice of this allowance is uh, amounted to 73,287,000 out of 125. At ito po, Madam Chair, yung mga breakdown ng mga disallowed na mga, ano, no, uh, na mga purchases. So, reward payment of 10 million, payment of rewards, various goods, 34.857 million, payment of rewards, medicines, 24.93 million, tables, chairs, desks, computer and printers, 3.5 million. So, um, ang question, Madam Chair, so yung letter A, B, and C, so nakita naman natin ang doon yung sa joint, joint circular. Um, how about yung ito, no? Um, how about yung mga tables, chairs, desktop, computer, na umabot po ito sa 3.5 million. So, pwede bang maipaliwanag? Um, uh, bakit ito pinurchase, Madam Chair? Madam Vice President. Madam Chair, I still request for the rules of the budget hearings. Okay, gusto mo sagutin ko, ma'am. Yes, madam. This is a hearing of the budget of 2025. Nasaan dito ang confidential funds? Yung tanong niya, confidential funds. Nasaan dito? Honorable friends. At yung continuing, ano ko pa to, no? Continuing... Uh, questions pa natin noong 2020 for, uh, during the last budgets uh, hindi na ipaliwanag itong 125 million na alam naman natin na wala ito sa budget ng 2022 so ito uh, Madam Chair, sa rule naman natin lahat, ng, lahat dito tinatanong eh, no? so according to the budget whether it is in the past kasi nakikita natin yung utilization noong mga budget kahit na yung past years ay uh, pwede natin busasiin dito Madam Chair tama ba ako Madam Chair? I will agree with you um, the Honorable Franz Castro you may proceed yes ma'am yun yung sagot ko ma'am nasaan ang topic natin dito at ang pinasubmit ninyo sa amin is the budget proposal of 2025. Where in the budget proposal of 2025 is the item confidential funds? Sa in aid of legislation nga ninyo, nakalagay nga doon sa rules ninyo, di ba? The discussion should be germane to the topic. The topic is the 2025 budget proposal. Now tell me, Madam Vice President, the Honorable Franz Castro funds. has already provided 
a sufficient explanation for why she asked the question. So please proceed with your answer. Madam Chair, it's a very why are we discussing question. the budget of 2023 and 2024? Honorable friends, Castro. So, kung ayaw niya sagutin, Madam Chair, so let me go through na lang with, our, with, with, with my question. Kasi related naman ito. Remember, Madam Chair, pinestyo natin ito noong last year, uh, yung 125 million na ito ay hindi ito maipaliwanag, no? Dahil nga confidential eh, no? Nagtago sa word na confidential. At ngayon, kailangan natin maipaliwanag. At if it is in the interest of the people, uh, yung 125 million na ito, Madam Chair, kaya kailangan ito na ma ma ano, no? mabusisi at kailangan natin itong kailangan ito maipaliwanag ng OVP. Kaya hindi tayo pwedeng questionin ng mga rules, questionin ng mga topic, etc. Dahil related din naman talaga ito sa budget, Madam Chair. Madam Chair? Madam Chair? Yes, you may yes. proceed. I request that the chairperson of the Finance Committee preside over this hearing. Madam Vice President, with due respect, you have, you are not allowed to do that, Madam Vice President. You are not allowed to introduce an emotion. You are a research person this not, evening, Madam President. I Vice not President. Move, Mom. I requested. I requested as your research person. I requested so the chairperson of the committee, Madam Vice President. Just please answer the question. The issue on confidential funds falls squarely within our discussion of your 2025 budget. Narinig mo yung sinabi niya, ma'am? Narinig mo yung sinabi ka sa kanya kanina? Walang rules, rules dito. Please proceed and answer the question. It's a very simple question. Diba? Please explain the specific spending on those items that she enumerated, amounting to a total of... Uh, honorable friends, do you want to repeat that? A total of 73.287 million. So, dahil may notice of disallowance, so ibig sabihin, Madam Chair, illegal ito, at in... In not, in not in accordance with our with that joint circular by the COA, the BM, and other related agencies. So, kung ito ay dinis allow, so ibig sabihin illegal yung paggamit nito. Ah, Madam Chair, um, itong mga items na binanggit ko po, Madam, Madam Chair. Chair. You Madam Vice President, allow, you cannot allow a member of the House to just claim that it is illegal. Yeah. That is a notice of disallowance. Disallowance. That is a procedure inside the Commission on Audit. Hindi sa upuan niya. Honorable friends. Okay. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. So, thank you for the explanation, um, Mr. President. Okay, next. According to accomplishment report of OBP, it spent 10 million for payment of reward. So, Madam, Madam Chair, in 11 days, ilang tao kaya at magkano kada tao ang reward? In fact, COA disallowed the whole amount spent by OVP for payment of reward. Hindi ba, Madam Chair, question up, questionable ito? Madam Chair, the invitation letter that we received from the House of Representatives. Dear Vice President Duterte, the House Committee on Appropriations will hold briefings, hearings on the budget proposals of various departments, agencies, and corporations relative to the fiscal year 2025 national expenditure program as the basis of the fiscal year 2025 general appropriations bill. Saan? Sa presentation ko kanina, ang haba, on confidential funds. Honorable friends, Castro.
can we request our technical people to fix the mic? Can everybody check their mics and make sure that they're switched off? Para maka switch on in C, friends. Madam Chair, point of order lang ulit, Madam Chair. Kasi kailangan lang nating ma-establish. Uh, I would assume hindi naman po uh, pinanganak kahapon ng ating resource person. Practice po natin sa house. Madam Chair, that is a po, remark. Na para po tayo ay makapagtalakay ng budget na pinopropose uh, para sa susunod na fiscal year. Chine-check natin paano din gumagastos yung mga ahensya even in the current year and in the past year. Also, Madam Chair, Section 162, Rulings as Presidents, Rulings on Questions Raised by Members shall form part of the parliamentary practice of the House. At practice po natin since time immemorial na hindi lang po ang proposed budget yung tinatalakay. Kasi yung performance ay dapat bahagi din ng discussion. Yun lang, Madam Chair. Noted. Honorable friends, could you kindly check if your mic works? Okay. Uh, thank you. Um, uh, thank you, Madam Chair. So, uh, so, yun po, no, yung sinasabi natin kanina, yung payment ng reward, um, the, the resource person can answer this, questionable, uh, que uh, tingin ko ay questionable ito. Okay? So, next, according to the accomplishment report, isa sa pinaggamitan ng OVP, ng confidential funds, ay yung provision of medical and food aid. This is not allowed under the Joint Circular Number 2015-01 dahil kailan pa naging confidential fund ang pagbibigay ng ayuda or kung ito naman ay ginamit sa mga um, mga ginamit na tao or informant in 11 days. So paano kaya ginamit itong 40 million na ito no, para sa medical and food aid in 11 days, uh, Madam Chair? So... So yun yung tanong ko, kung hindi ito ginamit doon sa kon, uh, sa sa mga AIDS, uh, medical aid or food aid, pero paano kaya Madam Chair ginamit itong 40 million na ito as a medical and food aid ng ilang tao in 11 days? So yun po yung tanong natin uh, Madam Chair. Madam Vice President. Madam Chair, the subject of this hearing is the OVP 2025 budget proposal. We do not have an item of confidential funds in the OVP budget proposal. So, may I continue, Madam Chair? Isa sa bumubukol na confidential fund ng OVP noong 2022 ay nasabi ko na, Madam Chair, yung medical and food aid at saka yung mga purchase of supplies. According to the accomplishment report, the OBP spent 40 million no, for medical and food aid in 11 days. So, ang ibig sabihin nito, Madam Chair, um, konting math, tumapatak na 3.64 million kada araw ang gastos no, para sa food and medical aid. So, hindi natin maintindihan, ma Madam Chair, paano ito ginastos uh, in 11 days. No? It's 3.64 million kada araw. Dito sa um, item na ito. Madam Vice President. Do you want to comment? Madam Vice President. We did not call you, ma. It was the representative Aroy who called you. We, the Chair would like to remind both the resource persons and the members to please 
wait to be acknowledged before you speak. Yes, ma'am. So, you mean, yes. To, to respond. So, any comment, uh, Madam Chair, dun sa sinabi natin uh, based on sa, sa accomplishment report. Uh, so, kung gagamitan natin ng konting ma, 3.64 million kada araw ang gases para sa medical and food for 11 days. For how many people ba itong ito? Madam Chair, the topic and the invitation of the House of Representatives to the Office of the Vice President for this hearing is a 2025 budget proposal. There is no confidential funds in the 2025 budget proposal. For, for the information of the body, the letter that we sent, our Madam Vice President, reads as follows um, in the second paragraph um, we noted the following topics to be discussed um, item number three is comparative budget allocation and utilization rate from fiscal year 2019 to 2023 that's item number three so i can provide you copies of the letter so clearly Confidential funds spent in 2022 falls squarely within that. So, yes, Honorable Francie, may proceed. Yes, uh, Madam Chair. So, mukhang di na tayo sasagutin ng, ano no, di na, tayo, di na ako sasagutin ng ating Vice President. So, sa bawat sagot kasi na ganyan ng ating Vice President, uh, for the record, since ayaw magpaliwanag ang BP, so, ibig sabihin nito, yung paggastos ng 125 million ay na, na, na pera ng taong bayan ay hindi maipaliwanag. So, yun lang, Madam Chair. Kaya hinihiling natin sa Vice President o OVP na kailangan, ma, kailangan na maipaliwanag itong mga uh, sinasabing item dito. Anyway, Madam Chair, sa kanila naman nang galing no, yung uh, utilization at confidential and intelligence fund. And of course, ito lang naman ang hawak ko din dito, yung notice of disallowance. Kaya gusto talaga nating maintindihan, Madam Chair, kung ang notice of disallowance ay, so syempre, papaliwanag pa nila yan, kung paano, di ba? So, kailangan malaman din ng taong bayan na sila yung nag, ano, no, nag, nagbibigay ng pondo para sa operations ng OVP at lahat ng mga agency. At kailangan yung maipaliwanag. So, hindi pwede yung ganyan na... Um, uh, um, yung tactics na ganyan, na parang, ano no, parang sorry for the pusit, na kapag nasusukol na ang pusit, ay nagaano ng uh, may tin na tinta. So, ayaw natin ng ganun, Madam Chair, kasi yung atin namang sinting pinag-uusapan dito ay budget. No? So, huwag naman mag-ugaling mag, ano, na, mag pusit ang Office of the Vice President. Madam Chair, may I? Uh, may I point of information only, Madam Chair? May I? Uh, Madam Chair. Uh, no, sorry. Um, wait. Um, before before you uh, I'd like to before we proceed to the next uh, person on the list, I believe that our former president uh, Gloria Macapagal-Arroyo would like to interject. Observation made um, in relation to the point of order because in the beginning, uh, it was settled that the issue would be the 2025 budget. And in all our hearings, to what I recall, uh, when we want to question something about performance, we question the 2024 budget, not the 2023 budget. What is being questioned now is the 2023 budget, which was discussed very uh, extensively last year. And that is the reason why the House removed the confidential funds. So that issue has already been, to my mind, for purposes of the budget hearing, laid to rest. So that's my observation, Madam Chair. We, we know that, uh, um, Madam Former President, but uh, of course we know that um, yung pong pondo ng 2023 ay, uh, of course, pwede pa rin maging continuing uh, appropriation hanggang 2024. So in the same way, 2022 pwede maging continuing pa rin 2023. At alam din po natin, um, last year, pinagdipatihan po natin ng matinde itong 2022 
confidential funds. And in fact, um, we left a homework for the COA. Sinabi natin sa kanila na kailangan nilang tapusin ang uh, audit by November, I believe mid-November of last year. And since then, hindi na natin alam kung ano nangyari. So that's the reason for why um, pinatalakay natin ito. And uh, it's a big amount of money. I believe uh, we owe it to the people to understand uh, what happened. Of course, tinanggal na natin noong 2024. Gusto natin malaman tama ba yung ginawa natin? Kasi baka naman nagkamali tayo. So I, I think it's worth assessing um, what we did in 2024 in order to know what to do in 2025. Um, so with that, I, let's proceed with our next uh, interview. May I? May I? Is, is this um, just a uh, point of order? Not a point of order, but um, uh, we will only, just, uh, we will, um, you, you may wish to, to be, be joined the robot. Uh, you may wish to be, um, unless it's a point of order, you may wish to be listed. I can put you here, sir. Uh, parliamentary inquiry, Madam Chair. Yes, you parliamentary may. Parliamentary inquiry. Uh, may I ask if... Uh, the resource person is required to answer a question that is related to a commission on audit uh, notice of disallowance when she already said she's not going to answer. Also, the notice of disallowance is addressed to the office of the vice president. And just to make it clear, a notice of disallowance is not a judgment. It is a request, it is an order from the Commission on Audit for the particular office to explain what are the particulars. At saka hindi na yan legislation side. That is already on the accountability side in the budget cycle. So, my parliamentary inquiry, Madam Chair, is that nagsabi na nga siya na hindi siya sasagot and it is related to the COA, a notice of disallowance, and, just to add, sinabi na rin ni former president, it was thoroughly discussed in the previous year. In fact, tinanggal lang, tinanggal sa budget ng 2024, yung confidential fund. And we know that there's a pending case on that also. To discuss that further might uh, somehow prejudice or be biased whatsoever. So, yun lang po, Madam Chair. All right, salamat. Um, on your inquiry, the only requirement is to provide a direct response um, on the question, meaning to say a response that is directly related to the question. Meaning to say, kung may question at ayaw niyo pong sagutin, sagutin niyo ng derechahan na hindi po ako sasagot dun sa tanong. Ang problema po kasi, ang response ay naging hindi related dun sa tanong. Halimbawa, may tanong, ang sagot ay paglalarawan doon sa nagtanong. So, hindi naman yon klaro na hindi yun um, directly related doon sa tanong. Kaya, yun po, I think it's a reasonable ask. If there's a question, you may or may not answer. You're not compelled. But you just please say, I do not wish to answer. That's it. At, at least we know it's a direct response. And with that, we move to the next... Um, Madam Chair person on the list um Madam that Chair. this uh Madam hindi na po tayo matatapos yan ang sinabi ko sa iyo kanina ayaw mo maniwala sa akin eh aabot talaga tayo ng uh, bukas dito diba Madam Chair is yes. this an inquiry regarding he said yes and yes, please I remind also yes, our first persons to please act in a respectful manner Asensya na po, um, hindi po kasama sa poder ninyo ang pagpa-fire ng presiding officer ng hearing na to. So, yes. Yeah. So, so, if you allow members of the House of Representatives lines like what you just said, like pusip, bakit mo ako kinocrucify for saying a fact that somebody is convicted of child abuse sitting the chair the seat and then I cannot fire the, chair, the presiding chair so fuck it yes we fuck it napaka one sided we nito we po dahil ba madami kayo dyan sa kabila at nag-iisa ako dito we note all your comments ma'am and let us now proceed thank you ma'am thank you ma'am madam chair point of order 
Yes, sir. the Honorable Benny Abante. I just came in and I hear this. We're not talking about the budget. We're accusing each other here. I'd like to find out from the resource speaker uh, if this is the kind of hearing that we're going to have. Sir, I am not the presiding officer of this hearing. I know. Yes, sir. But the thing is, you're asking questions, Madam Chair. The, the sir, sir speaker does not have any right to ask questions. Or do you have? Where is that? M Madam Vice In your rules that Madam a Vice person, person is a budget hearing. Request for the allegation. Some order, please. Some order, please. Yes, Honorable Benny Abanti may proceed. I'm just asking a question to our resource speaker, you know, because he's, she's asking a question and she's accusing some of the members of this committee. I just would like to find out if we are the ones that have the right to ask questions and it's her right is to answer the questions of the committee. Okay, so we have to ask you point of order. Uh, Madam Chair, yes. you understand me, yes. Madam Vice President, am I right? No, sir, I'm going to ask the, no, so the Chair to ask you to clarify what are my accusations yeah, please wait to be recognized ma'am pasensya na po so again i'd like to remind um our resource persons that you are here you're invited um to answer to present and you've done that thank you very much and at this point in time you're here to respond to the questions of our members and we request you to please respond in a direct way. So, with that, uh, I'd like to recognize from the majority, the Honorable Milagros Aquino Magsaysay.